Hi, Malachi here from Tier Law and Country Life. Um, just wanted to show you actually, I have a, a lovely collection of herbaceous plants or perennials. Um, basically, a herbaceous plant is a plant that actually dies down in the winter. That's what the term means essentially. And uh, by virtue of that, they're usually actually perennial, which means that they grow every year. So in one way, I hope that simplifies. People get worried about herbaceous and what does it mean. But um, what I have here is a collection of summer flowering ones. Uh, I'm going to do a new bed here behind me and uh, I wanted to talk about kind of colour selection and things so basically I, I find anyway my colour palette would be to have blues and whites together they often look very nice together and complement each other and silvers uh, like this foliage here also um, they will really go well together but at this time of year I like burnt oranges and yellows and that so you got the burnt orange of helenium you have yellows of lilies you have um, the caryopsis here in the yellow and heleniums so Agapanthus is the blue one here as well. Um, so most of these will actually die down during the winter, but there are some ones that'll keep their leaf in the winter. So there's interest in more all year round. So you've got the heuchera here, which is, keeps its leaf all the time. It'll keep this color also. Uh, you have the silver here of the angel's wings, and you will also have green leaf on the Agapanthus here. So it won't be completely uh, naked as such in the winter. Now essentially, one plant is often very nice, but oftentimes a little group is, very, is much nicer. So that's why we have some of these plants are in threes and we aim to put them in a little group like that. Uh, essentially that's to give more impact. And larger plants like the angel's wings here, usually one is enough of those guys because they're quite substantial in their own right. So heleniums are another one that I aim to put in a little group of. And they will eventually grow into one large mass and will give you much more impact than one single plant would. Uh, you have marguerites here as well, or Shasta daisies, which are traditional uh, cottage garden plants and they flower for a very long period of time. And you have eryngium here, which is also called sea holly. And they have this curious kind of metallic blue colour, which is fantastic and goes well with other colours. Um, uh, slightly spiky, but actually well worth having, you know. So essentially what I'll do is I'll plant some of these now and I'll show you afterwards uh, what the after effect is. And um, we'll take them there. Anyway. Now I've uh, planted in the Hellenians behind me here. Uh, at this stage now they're ready for a little drop of feed. I use in uh, baby bayou here. I find it very good. So I have that in the watering can ready to go. And um, just give them a, a quick drench in. Even though we probably will get rain, but uh, it's still a good idea to settle the soil in around the, the new plants. Uh, they will need to be kept an eye on for water in dry periods during the summer, and they will need to be deadheaded occasionally and fed about once a month or so. And uh, they'll quite happily flower now until about the end of October or so. Um, so if you need any extra care and advice, uh, you can pop into our Country Life Garden Centres. And thanks very much for watching. Mm -hmm.